Hmm. All right. What's today? Day six of the bulking videos. And that means I think it calls for another chest and shoulder day. So I'm probably going to hit shoulders this morning and then save chest for later in the day. Usually, some people do it first, first chest, then shoulders. To me, it doesn't really matter. But, let's talk about what we're going to do for shoulders. So, you know what? Let me, let me touch on this first. <laughs> this morning, I woke up to a, a copyright claim. So, I did not do a good job on what cutting music out. I thought making it quiet would be good enough, but no. So, we had to work on that this morning. From, it was day four, triceps. It's editing, it's, I, I think it's processing right now, but that will be back out when that's done. But, let's get back to what we're gonna do for shoulders. So, it's more gonna consist of lat raises, Maybe different kinds of lat raises, but mainly, let's see, dumbbell lat raises, then we might throw in cable lat raises, and then for rear delts, probably, can't go wrong with face pulls, to be honest. Usually, I do do lying face pulls, but I don't want to really bring a whole bench over there especially in the, in the school gym it's not really set up that like you could roll a bench over there it has a whole bunch of so first of all the benches are in the way it's a big smith machine in the way the whole what do you call them the power racks i don't know what they're called uh but it's like the huge rack pull-up bar a uh, squat rack and it has the bottom thing for power lifting so i could bring a whole bench i could just lay on the ground then you know what we, we might um that should induce a pretty good pump <sighs> let's see but today's a friday it's a good good day to be alive very grateful. Very grateful for that. Family's alive. Everything's going well. Mm. See what else we talk about. I talk like a meal before a lift. Today's not going to consist of a meal. Not so. Actually, you no. Know I could actually have a meal, but. Oh well. Um. So I don't have enough time to cook one. But, let's see what else we could talk about. Here we could talk about what we're going to do for chest. So for chest, this is going to be at the home gym. It's going to be probably dumbbell incline again. Yeah, honestly, it's probably just going to consist of that. Dumbbell incline, maybe bench. Again, last time I was thinking of doing cable flies, but it's, I don't know about that. Still not sure. Hmm. Bench. Probably drops it to the end with the, if I do do barbell bench, just to get more of a pump. And that should call for a pretty good pump. Um, oh, we are going to probably record a meal before chest day or just chest session. I don't know what we're going to make. I should probably pull out something right now. Yeah, I should probably make. I do have leftover chicken breast. Make that. Which. Probably most likely is going to be that leftover chicken breast. 
So I don't just eat the chicken like on its own. I throw in like I have this sugar-free barbecue sauce because who doesn't like chicken with barbecue sauce? Yeah, that should be a pretty good meal. I'm already looking forward to it, to be honest. But other than that, nothing much to say. Let's cut to the shoulders. So this is gonna be our first set of shoulders. I decided just to do the lat raises with dumbbells. These are pretty sure they're twenties. You could go for eight reps, but I'm going for I'm pretty sure just a failure. Another set of lat raises. Another set, and I'm pretty sure after this, after I reached failure, I threw in a drop set with 15s. Let's see. Getting some funny faces with it. So I put the 20 downs. Yeah, there you go. Grabbed these 15s and went to failure again. Same thing, 20s to failure, then drop down to the 15s. Oh, so after this, I decided to do pullovers for rear delts. Why would I not do, say, bent over lat raises? What else is there? There's some other exercises, I guess, that do target rear delts. Maybe... I don't know. Can't think of them right now. But I love face pulls. Right here, I'm sitting down. And I'm just focusing on trying to feel my rear delts fire. Same thing again, face pulls, 
You could do it standing up. Personally, I just feel it better when I'm not trying to stabilize myself and I could just focus more on just hitting rear delts, basically. So, yeah, even these sets are taking tough failure. So, came back to lat raises, but the difference is, is that this time I'm on a cable. The main, I should say, pro of cables is that you have constant tension the whole time. Pretty sure with, say, dumbbell lat raises, uh, I think you have less tension on the bottom and more, I guess, in the mid rep to higher end but these since you have a pulley and the cable you have constant tension the whole time but yeah pretty sure i did a drop set on both of both arms Come on. Whoop, ah, here we go, sculpting. Sculpting. <laughs> Still need to work more medial delts, but for now, it's looking pretty good. Hopefully, my phone doesn't. Oh my goodness! Man. <sighs> would be a good shoulder. It's a side tricep. Hold up. Hold up. chest I guess <sighs> what else I guess the last part kind of showcases the the shoulders really as much for shoulders. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. <sighs> Other than that, I think we got to the chest there.
All right. Well. No, I said we were going to go to the chest day straight here. Um, let me position it so you can see the freaking view behind me. Look at that. Whoa. There you go. Let's try to get... Now that is pretty really cool, you gotta admit. Hope it doesn't... Oh, okay. Come on. There you go. Alright. So again, same ordeal. Pre-workout. This water is not cold, but still water. Water is freaking water. All right. So this time, I actually am going to use the funnel because I have a bigger piece of paper. So I could do this. All right. Oh my goodness, I should have opened this before. But I hit shoulders earlier, as you guys see from the video. You're gonna be seeing this after shoulders. So I know this is chest and shoulders, but I didn't really wanna hit chest earlier. So, in chest for now. What's gonna be on shoulders? Or what we're in? Oh, excuse me. What's gonna be done for chest? Just incline dumbbell bench. Um, might throw in barbell, incline barbell on some drop sets and that should get us pretty pumped like that let's get this mixed up got a scoop let's get this in a bottle Drugs, your mom doing drugs. <laughs> well, technically, this guy, why, uh, me sneaking sugar? Alright, buddy. I'm not that person, you know. <laughs> sneaking sugar is crazy. Up. Oh my goodness. So I just that powder straight up. Tomorrow's on my grandma about sugar. I just say just stay away from it as much as you can. So she thought I guess I was sneaking sugar. Yeah, let's get this mixed up. I mean we could talk about you know, I've talked about it before, but I guess just for new viewers. Citrulline for the bump. Beta for, I guess, itchiness if you like that. Theobromine for focus. Thinkamine. I'm pretty sure that's for another focus thing. So what? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, well, I might have to go bring some soap in, but let's get this pre down first. Let's make sure it's all mixed up. Look at this view. <laughs> wow. That's yeah, a pretty, pretty cool view here. I could, I could show you guys the entirety of it. What up? Oh, you got on top of you. Look at that. Because it would seem pretty good. I don't know right. it almost fell right there. Alright, well, let's just chug this, get it down the hatch, and I'm not sure what time it is, but it would just be 30 minutes until we start the workout. Probably 20, because it kicks in pretty fast. Alright, well, cheers.
my goodness, I almost just threw it all up. <clears throat> well, poor work on the hatch. So like I've said in previous videos, I don't want to wait about 30 minutes. 20, I say 20 to 30 minutes before everything kicks in for me. Since this is probably my, what, fifth day back on pre. I haven't been taking it for a while. I'm not saying you have to take pre. Pre is more of a kind of an, an, an enhancer to your lift. So if you don't have pre, I'm not saying that you're not going to get a good lift. It's just why not use every advantage that you have or that you can take and pre is one of them so other than that nothing much to, or uh, nothing else much to talk about i guess we could just cut to probably the warm-up for dumbbells Ugh. so chest uh we're gonna just warm up with 30s then i'll probably do be doing Either 55s or 60s. <clears throat> so yeah, that's a that's just a warm up. So again, purpose of a warm up is to get blood flowing in the area. Other than that, up the weight. So got the 40s on here still should be a warm-up just to get used to the weight yeah. a little warm-up all right let's add this tens on here and let's try 50s all right oh my goodness of course it freaking zoomed in all right, so these are, should be 52 pounds. This should be still working our way up to our top set. So. Been this, though. I don't want to just have the same camera angle all the time. All right, we can slap on 2.5s. Next set should be our working set. So, oh my goodness, these are, there's flies flying over me. But this is about 57.57.5s. So I could add the 1.5s and just go to 60s. But this should be good for our top set. These are the like, huge. All right, let's cut to the lift. Yeah, come on. That was a good set. All right, so take the two point off. Then, so right now it's just what fifty twos, fifty two point fives. Yeah, so. My whole reasoning of just doing one top set and then just dropping from, I guess, dropping weight from there is because, how do I say this? I guess it's easy to progressive overload when you're doing one set. Progressive overload doesn't just mean, say, weight-wise. It could be sets-wise, rep-wise, uh, your tempo. But... For me, I like the adding more weight, progressive overload. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. Last week I did, I believe just these for eight. It might've been more, who knows? But yeah, other than that, let's cut to this set. All right, 
Time for another set. So I'm not sure if you guys have seen me, but I rested for about say three, four minutes. And I'm ready for another set. So rest times. For me, my philosophy is just rest until you feel ready for another set. Like if you're just saying, oh, I'm gonna get two minutes of rest each set and you time that, what if you're not ready? What if like that was a really hard set and you in reality need more rest? Or fatigue comes in that too, because if you're just fatigued, say from a heavy set of, I don't know, 20 reps, you're gonna need a little bit more, a little more to, uh, rest. So yeah, other than that, let's get these 50s moving. Yeah. Let's get to the next one. So, whew, those 50s were light enough for, I should say they are light enough for another set. So, I'm not gonna go down this set. I'm just gonna rest, and then until I'm ready to hit this again, I'll proceed. But yeah, other than that, let's cut to the set. So, as you can tell, on all my sets i just go to failure even though i do say i'm gonna get eight reps if i could go more i will go more yeah That is not going for another set, I can assure you. Or another rep. Yeah, that is our, I think, third set. Might be wrong. But maybe we'll do this again for, if it's our third, our fourth set. So yeah, that was a good fourth set. Let's cut to barbell bench. All right, this might be too heavy for incline, but I say we try it. Yeah. <sighs> 
All right. So, I only got a six, but still felt pretty nice. And you see how on incline, since I mean I could I should have put these more up, but I'm using it to hold the bench up. When I fail, I just put it down a little bit and just get up with it. So yeah, you can also do that with flat. You just roll it on your stomach, and then you could roll it right here until you could get up. But yeah, let's go lighter. Probably drop down to. Let's go 35. All right, I lied. We're gonna do 35s and a five. So, that was the last set. I, I think I got like seven that time. Other than that, let's go check out the front. I'm still gas up in the last set. All right, that should be pretty good. I'm feeling very pumped. Let's take out the shirt and see what we're working with. So I'm gonna take this shirt off. Now. Look at that. <sighs> Other poses are for chest. I guess a front of a bicep features chest. I guess a side tricep kind of features chest. <sighs> uh, most muscular, I guess. <sighs> yeah, honestly, this is probably one of my, my best pumps I've had. Let's hit another side chest, shall we? So chest, I would say is probably some of my best pumps. Look at that. See, that I, you remember when I was talking about chest striations? I still have them. And we, we're at one, close to 180 on the bulk. I'm just gas up from flexing. But yeah, I guess there's so, so some more poses we could do. Pretty sure that's pretty much all for chest. Let me try to think. Mm. Is there anything else for chest? Uh, pretty much just ran through all of them. Uh. No, I think that's pretty much it for chest. So, I, uh, I was gonna talk about everybody else. Let's talk about lacking muscle groups again. My upper chest could have more low, I don't wanna call it, uh, it could be more voluptuous basically. But that is just another case of a neglected muscle group. Yeah. I guess there is more for chest. Um, not really a chest pose, but I guess I just feature it. 
yeah never skip upper chest as you see when i was doing chest i was not doing any flat bench because pretty much and even if you're doing incline bench you're still hitting the chest either way like even the i i don't really believe that there's a lower chest but you're hitting your lower pec and your upper pec at the same time even though you're trying to focus on the upper but other than that i don't think there is much to say pump was amazing i'm also looking at it right now like that but i guess there's really nothing there's, uh, there's really nothing to say other than don't hit or don't hit don't skip upper chest uh don't skip rear delts yeah i mean if anything don't skip any muscle group unless it's like i say you don't really want to hit obliques because why would you want a wider waist <sighs> but other than that let's go to the intro or the intro the outro there's actually probably one more pose we could hit so let's hit it Other than that, go to the outro. Well, back to where we started. Let's see on. I need to see where the frame is. All right. I might have stepped down. Woo! I fell. Well, that's all for the chest day and shoulders. Pumps were amazing today. To be honest, this might be the best pump I've ever had in a minute. And keep in mind, I didn't do cable flies i didn't do i didn't have cables with me it was just old school free uh what is it called free weights free weight movements that pump was amazing feeling amazing no no tweaks or anything yeah other than that i don't think there's really much to talk about i guess what are we gonna hit tomorrow So, I also hit biceps today. So it was actually chest, shoulders, and biceps. Uh, my triceps might be sore tomorrow. I'm not sure. If anything, it might just be a rest day. But just because it's a rest day does not mean I'm not gonna at least try to record either the meals, cardio, something like that. To be honest, it might be a full day of eating. I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to check on that. But other than that, I guess hopefully hopefully you're having a good day or if your day's just getting started, hopefully you're gonna have a good one. And I guess see you tomorrow.